Good morning, um, we're really glad that you can join us this morning and as always um, I'd love to be able to offer you a, a cup of tea um, <laughs> around our kitchen table but um, obviously with the uh, with the guidelines um, in the city and county that won't be possible for a little while um, but we're thinking especially um, of those um, living alone and those um, particularly finding this, this time incredibly mm. difficult and, and stressful. Yeah, it is a really hard time and um, and lots of uncertainty that we're living with as well. It's, but we're reading again another psalm this morning, and this is one of my favourite psalms, because it contains, all of us have verses from the psalms that we just have come to mean uh, uh, so much to us, and this psalm contains some verses that uh, I just go back to again and again. It's Psalm 86, and this is a very personal prayer of David, and it's very clearly in a desperate time in his life. So we're going to read the whole psalm. Hear me, Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and needy. Guard my life, for I am faithful to you. Save your servant, who trusts in you. You are my God, have mercy on me, Lord, for I call to you all day long. Bring joy to your servant, Lord, for I put my trust in you. You, Lord, are forgiving and good, abounding in love to all who call to you. Hear my prayer, Lord, listen to my cry for mercy. When I'm in distress, I call to you, because you answer me. Among the gods there is none like you, Lord. No deeds can compare with yours. All the nations you have made will come and worship before you, Lord. They will bring glory to your name. For you are great and do marvellous deeds. You alone are God. Teach me your way, Lord, that I may rely on your faithfulness. Give me an undivided heart, that I may fear your name. I will praise you, Lord my God, with all my heart. I will glorify your name forever, for great is your love toward me. You have delivered me from the depths, from the realm of the dead. Arrogant foes are attacking me, O God. Ruthless people are trying to kill me. They have no regard for you. But you, Lord, are a compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness. Turn to me and have mercy on me. Show your strength on behalf of your servant. Save me, because I serve you just as my mother did. Give me a sign of your goodness, that my enemies may see it and be put to shame. For you, Lord, have helped me and comforted me. When we first um, read this psalm, uh, one verse um, particularly um, caught my attention, which was verse 7. Um, when I'm in distress, I call to you because you answer. And it, what I liked about it, it was so, such a simple um, way of saying, just, just turn to God. And it, it really invites us to do that, doesn't it? Um, and even when we're in um, distress or deep distress, um, and we perhaps don't know how we're going to cope with, with what's happening or what's ahead, um, we might wonder what, what difference it's going to make to cry out to God. Mm. It might be that feeling inside, you know, what, what difference would it make? But David um, is confident um, that God will hear him, will answer him, um, on the basis that of not of our goodness, um, but of God's goodness and his abounding love, which we, which we see um, in verse 5, you, Lord, are forgiving and good, abounding in love mm. to all to call, who call to you. Um, which I just think is such, such a, a strong reminder, just a strong reminder. And again in verse um, 15, but you, Lord, are a compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in love mm. and faithfulness. And I think that's something that, well, we all will hold, yeah, <laughs> it's it, a good thing to hold on to. It, um, it's, it's, it's just amazing the way, obviously in a desperate time in David's life, how that goodness, God's goodness, God's um, abundant love, just every, every time he turns another corner and he's just just clinging on. And there again is a reminder of that goodness and love, isn't it? And it yeah. just keeps rolling out in this psalm. Um, and uh, I, uh, the verses I've loved for a long time, verses 11 and 12, um, there may be others who, uh, just that prayer, um, asking God to give me an undivided heart. And there's something about what, what David is, is saying there. Um, it's actually saying, give me a heart that is knit together, a heart that's integrated, not fragmented. And I think all of us know what a struggle it is at times when 
uh, inwardly, we just become sort of fragmented in our, our thoughts and feelings. And of course, in, in the Old Testament, particularly in the Psalms, the heart is not just the place of affections, but actually it's the seat of our will, of our decision making. And, uh, and I particularly like the way that uh, uh, Kidna um, puts it here. He says that this is a prayer for guidance from God, and it's more about forming the right habits than making the right moves. And I'm often sort of um, each day I'm sort of thinking about what's the right move on this. It may be a small decision, it may be a very big decision, but what David is saying is, I don't know what the next move is. I'm not certain, but I'm crying out to you, God, and, and I'm asking for a heart that is, is not fragmented so that he's got the habits of a heart that he can walk in step with God and rather than being concerned solely about making the right move. And I think that's so helpful for, mm -hmm. for our world at this time, our nation, for those who are in leadership responsibilities, wherever that may be, in education or in government or in the church. Um, but also here, realising that the first place that a heart that's in, uh, integrated and in step with God, first place it turns is to praise mm -hmm. and to worship God. And that's what David does in the psalm. Mm. So we're going to turn to prayer for today. Let's pray. Lord, we pray this morning for an under -heart, divided heart to live well in whatever we may be facing at the moment in our lives. Pray, Lord, for those who are struggling with grief and facing opposition. Um, help them, Lord, to cry out to you, Lord, knowing that you are good and your love is abundant and abounding and they can find strength in you. Um, Lord, we just pray that today um, for all those um, who are finding life, life hard. Lord Jesus, thank you that you are faithful um, and your love is abounding. Mm. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us again uh, this morning, uh, back in the kitchen. Whatever you're doing over this weekend, um, uh, we just pray you'll know God's blessing.